Hello and welcome to another Divi HQ walkthrough video. Brody Dorland here with some exciting news for all you WordPress users. The Divi HQ WordPress integration is here and today I'm going to show you how it works. Now before we get started there are a few setup steps that you'll need to perform to get your Divi account connected to your WordPress instance. I'm not going to demo those steps for the sake of keeping this video short, but we have a very detailed knowledge base article on our help site. So uh, to get set up, go to help.divhq.com and it's probably quickest to just type WordPress into the search field to find the setup guide uh, as you can see here. Okay, let's hop back over to Divi and as you can see I have a draft of a blog post ready to go. Now we've completed all of our production tasks, our blog content has been approved to publish, uh, we have some images attached and embedded within the content, so we're ready to hit the new send to WordPress button. And here we go. Now we're presented with this overlay that allows us to determine what data and assets will get sent over to your WordPress instance. Starting at the top, uh, our WordPress site has been selected. The post title has been pulled in, uh, but you can certainly edit if you need. We've pulled in your list of authors from your WordPress instance, and you can select who the author will be for this post. Uh, our integration also pulls in your category list from WordPress and looks for matching categories that you have in your Divi account. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and select uh, one more category because this post is a new feature announcement. Yeah, this is for real, folks. Now let's look at some of the other optional fields. Um, perhaps you use WordPress's excerpt field. Um, if so, Divi, uh, the uh, Divi summary description field auto maps to that. Um, transitioning attachments is certainly a big time saver with our integration. So as you can see here, I have three images attached to this content item and two of them are actually embedded within my post. Um, those two are automatically selective, but I've also attached an image that will be my featured image for this post in WordPress. So I'll click mark featured underneath it. All right, moving right along. Divi's WordPress integration also syncs keywords and tags between the two platforms. Um, when I click to include tags, our integration will pull in your tag list from WordPress and automatically select any tags that match any keyword that you previously added to your Divi content item. And then additional keywords or tags can be added if you need. Okay, we've specified everything we want to send to WordPress, so let's let the new integration work its magic. After clicking send to WordPress, you'll see a confirmation message in green at the top of your screen. Now let's head over to the WordPress admin. Okay, I'll head to our post list and there's our new post draft right at the top. Let's go ahead and open it and take a closer look. Our post title transferred over, our content was pulled in and it looks great, of course. The categories we specified are already selected. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and select a primary category here which may or may not be important to you. Uh, you can see that my featured image is already loaded in and finally my WordPress tag is already here. So everything is here and I probably just saved 10 minutes of back and forth between the two platforms. But that's not all our WordPress integration can do. Now I'm going to hop over to our plugins list. By installing Divi's new WordPress plugin you can now enable a sync function that will send any changes you've made in WordPress back to your original content item in Divi. Um, so let's go back to my post for a quick demonstration. So now I'm finalizing my post and notice that I have a typo. WordPress uh, actually has a capital P. Let me fix that and save my changes. I am now ready to publish. Boom, it's out the door. With our Divi plugin enabled, our updated full content and the post's URL are getting sent back to Divi behind the scenes. Let's hop back over to Divi and see the results. On the details tab, we can see that our content item status has automatically been set to published. The published URL has been stored. And if I go over to the content tab, the full content was updated. We hope you like Divi's new WordPress integration and we hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more Divi HQ videos. Thanks for watching and happy Divi! -ing.